Our fourth story out front, the prosecutor in the Trayvon Martin case under fire tonight, Angela Corey, facing serious questions about possible political motives in the case that she's been building against neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman, who shot Trayvon Martin in February. CNN's legal contributor Mark Nijame joins me. He wrote about this for CNN.com. And Mark, um, this, this all comes from uh, really what, what appears to be a feud with one of the most well-known uh, lawyers in the country, Alan Dershowitz. Uh, he had been critical of some of uh, Ms. Corey's the, the evidence that she'd presented and said, look, did you present everything? Did you do it appropriately? He had raised that question, and then uh, apparently she did something pretty dramatic, he says, right? That's what his allegations are. She's not responded, but apparently she called Harvard, where uh, Professor Dershowitz is a law professor, and basically, according to him, wanted him fired, wanted him disbarred, and uh, just went apparently railing against him for about, I think he describes it as a 40-minute rant. So um, uh, apparently the school told her, basically reminded her of the First Amendment and that he had uh, every right to give an opinion. And that's where we find ourselves. He then wrote about it. And we've been having some issues, as I've observed this case more and more, mm -hmm. uh, about some, I've got some real concerns about the way the prosecution has been proceeding on this. And so I simply wrote about it uh, using... Professor Dershowitz's story as a launching uh, vehicle for that. And, and, and you wrote um, about if Angela Corey had indeed made uh, the threat of, of, of threatening Alan Dershowitz with a libel lawsuit, slander, disbarring for uh, expressing his opinion. You said if Corey made that threat, it's frightening for a prosecutor in power to act that way and smacks of prosecutorial uh, overreaching in an effort to chill any critics. Um, Exactly. What, what does this say about her and how she's handling the case? I mean, obviously this is just an allegation, but what do you think it says more broadly? Well, I'm, I'm very concerned. I, you know, I was first taken a bit aback when she announced that she was taking over the case. And, and as this case has unfolded and we followed a timeline, if we remember, Norm Wolfinger, the uh, uh, prosecutor for this uh, circuit, basically was on the case, was going to have a grand jury meet and determine it, and then he said he had a conflict of interest, and mysteriously, to me, he was off the case. To this day, we've never heard what this conflict of interest is. And then we have the grand jury uh, basically being told to step down, and she was going to make the charging decision. Right. And before she made that charging decision, she goes on national TV and says, well, as she announced it, uh, that she was going to take the case, she says that she prayed with the victim's family before she conducted her impartial investigation. Mm. That is a concern of mine. If it's impartial, why are you taking one side or the other? Why are you praying with a family? Did you pray with both families? 